In this video, I want to look at some of the basics of divisibility by looking at some very precise definitions and terminology that I'll be using. Let's suppose we have two natural numbers, a and b, and we have a way to relate them. Let's suppose we can multiply a by some number c to get b. So in other words, a times c is equal to b. Well, this relationship between A and B can be described in four different ways. First, we can say that A is a factor of B. We have that B is a multiple of A. A is a divisor of B. And finally, B is divisible by A. So students often have a tough time distinguishing between the terms factor and multiple, and in fact, they often use them interchangeably. So we need to be very careful about these terms. These terms are very intimately related, but they do not mean the same thing. So let's look at some examples of how we can use these definitions. I want to list the natural numbers that are multiples of six. The definition says if a times c is equal to b, then b is a multiple of a. So we want to know what are the multiples of 6. So in this case, a is equal to 6. c can vary as we need it to be. And we want to know what is b. Well, if c is 1, 6 times 1 is 6. If c is 2, 6 times 2 is 12. If c is 3, 6 times 3 is 18. And we can consider can, we can continue this process to get more and more multiples of 6, and this will go on indefinitely. Next, let's list the natural numbers that are factors of 6. As a reminder, the definition says that a times c is equal to b, then a is a factor of b, so this time b is equal to 6. c can vary, and we want to know what is a. Well, a could be 1, since 1 times 6 is 6. A could be 2, since 2 times 3 is 6. It could be 3, since 3 times 2 is 6. And it could be 6, since 6 times 1 is 6. So these are the factors of 6. Next, let's list the natural numbers that are divisors of 6. As a reminder, A times C is equal to B means A is a divisor of B. So in this case, we have that B is equal to 6. We don't know what A is, and we're letting C vary. So we can once again see that this is 1, 2, 3, and 6. To say something is a divisor of 6 is the same thing as saying it is a factor of 6. So these two are interchangeable. And I want to list the natural numbers that are divisible by 6. The definition says that a times c is equal to b, then b is divisible by a. So in this case, I'm going to let a be 6. C is going to vary, and I don't know what B is. And so we can see that if C is 1, we would get 6. If C is 2, we get 12, 18, 24, etc. So these are also the multiples. So this tells us that we can use the word divisible and multiple interchangeably. In the correct sense, while we say something's divisible by A, it would be a multiple of A. But divisible and multiple are similar terms. And while I've defined factor, multiple, divisor, and divisible here for natural numbers, it does make sense to define them on the entire set of integers. So we could say something like 5 is a factor of negative 15, since 5 times negative 3 is equal to negative 15. So we can extend this into the full set of integers. Let's look at one more example. I can say that 4 is a factor of 12, because 4 times 3 is equal to 12. I can say that 12 is a multiple of 4, once again, because 4 times something is equal to 12. However, 4 is not a multiple of 12, because in this case, I would need 12 times some kind of natural number integer equal to 4. And in this case, my blank spot here would have to be one-third, so that doesn't work. 
We also have that 12 is not a factor of 4. This would mean the same thing. To be a factor of 4, it means that you multiply by some kind of whole number to get 4. So these would not work. So it is very important to keep these definitions straight since they do have very different meanings.